fired in May. At a Dallas Cowboys training camp in August, he told reporters he was dumbfounded by his firing, but a court filing suggests maybe he shouldn't have been. On Tuesday, former assistant athletic director Colin Schillinglaw filed a libel lawsuit against three members of the Board of Regents. Then yesterday, the Regents filed a response. Inside that response was a string of text messages that showed Art Bryles working to keep the alleged crimes of his players quiet. Court documents detail text messages that suggest football players were getting caught doing everything from brandishing a gun at a young woman, to selling drugs, to assault, to threatening murder. In one of them from 2013, Art Bryles had just learned a player was arrested for assault and threatening to kill a non-athlete. A text from Bryles to former athletics director Ian McCall allegedly said, quote, Just talk to the player. He said Waco PD was there and said they were going to keep it quiet. The court document went on to say a football staffer tried to talk the victim out of pressing charges. And the documents say Ian McCall allegedly texted back, that would be great if they kept it quiet. In November, Baylor dismissed claims from former Title IX coordinator Patty Crawford, who accused McCall of asking her for immunity for football players. But the new filing on behalf of three members of the Board of Regents appears to confirm her story, saying, quote, McCall then inquired if a who had information about sexual assaults could receive immunity under Title IX. Both Crawford and then Associate General Counsel Chris Holmes said no. The court documents also detail how Art Bryles found out disgraced football player Tevin Elliott lied to coaching staff about sexual assault, then didn't notify judicial affairs for 10 days, only doing so after a newspaper reporter started asking questions. In 2014, Elliott was convicted of felony sexual assault and sentenced to 20 years in prison. An attorney for the three regents named in the libel lawsuit says most of the information in the new court documents was obtained as part of the Pepper Hamilton investigation, which combed through more than one million pieces of information. He says his clients didn't want to hurt Bryles, but he says they were given no choice but to release more details in order to clear their own names. Well, everything they've said publicly has been the truth. There's not one single falsehood about anything they said. Now, in just the last two hours, Bears for Leadership Reform responded to this latest Baylor scandal. They say, in part, they're shocked and appalled that Art Bryles and others were paid millions in severance, all while the Regents knew about this information. We'll have more on that alumni group statement tonight at 10. Now, a Baylor spokesperson declined to offer any additional comments to us today. We also reached out to Bryles' attorney mm -hmm. and to Waco Police. Haven't heard anything back from either of them yet. Leslie. Right. Thanks so much, Stephen. Well, we have much more.